Do you actually go all the way back to Eastern Illinois with Matt Hughes, at least as a you know coach and, and student? But you guys debuted basically at the same time. Yes. Yeah, Matt was an assistant wrestling coach at Eastern, and uh, he, he I I did my second. That was actually my second fight. It was his first fight. We fought in Chicago, you know, at the same time. So it was kind of cool. All right. You know, cool. How does Matt Hughes go on to fight? What he fight fifty two times? He's still fighting. Becomes one of the, the greatest MMA fighters in history. And uh, did you not want to do it? What What you wind up doing? No, I always wanted to do it, but you know, I want to be a police officer too. So I'm currently a Chicago police officer, and uh, you know, I just want to get hired and uh, you know get my career going. And then you know, I started training like a year after I got hired. Yeah, and you know, a little different back then too in terms of a, a career because let's be honest, uh, I'm sure the money as a full time police officer was a little better than. Uh, you know, grinding it out in an MMA career, especially with the unknown. Yeah, exactly. You know, I have insurance and, you know, a good job. So, you know, I think it worked out for me the best the way I did it, you know. So where do you feel you are now when you see a guy like Matt? You know, he's he's made – now he's making real good money. Uh, he cemented his legacy. Um, and you're still going at it. So kind of where do you put yourself? I mean, you just said you wouldn't – you don't regret it at all. But, you know, in terms of your fight career, do you feel like you – this is kind of the middle of your fight career, the kind of the beginning. How do you look at it? Um, I think I still got, you know, another five or six years in this, you know, with my style and stuff. You know, I don't take a lot of hits, you know, hopefully. And, uh, you know, I'm just excited about it. And, I mean, this is a great opportunity to be fighting in the UFC, you know. So just with all the exposure and, you know, I just want to go out there and uh, have a good fight and just take care of business. All right, we hear a, a lot now about guys wanting to train full time. You obviously can't do that. So when do you find time to train? You know, I train before I go to work, I work from uh, 5 to 3, so I always get my training done in the afternoon, you know, morning time, get two practices in, and then uh, go to work. So what's that like? Because that's swing shift, right? Right. I mean, it's it's, uh, it's a real hectic uh, schedule. You have to be very disciplined. And, but, you know, this is what I love doing, so it's not work. Yeah. Well, it's a, and it's a little different probably than some of the other police officers because those guys – at least the ones I know, the people I know, uh, sometimes it's not that easy to wind down at 3 o'clock in the morning. That you, you wind up staying late. So how do you make sure that you're asleep and you get up in time for training? That's a hard thing to manage. It really is. I mean, especially if you get a late arrest around 2 o'clock or something, you're not getting out of there until 4 or 5 in the morning. So, you know, kind of around 2, one thirty, I kind of shut down, you know, put the blinders on. But, uh, you know, I've done it for like six and a half years now, so I'm used to it. Yeah. Is the, the mentality of a cop, in general, in some ways, kind of tailor-made, at least good good cops who handle their, their situations uh, business-like. Is it kind of tailor-made for fighting because, you know, you obviously have to go in there, keep your head together, you can't get emotional, and it's kind of the same thing with your job? Oh, it's the same way with police. I mean, it's like with fighting, you ne- just like you never know when, you know, the punch that you don't see knocks you out. You never, you know, if you're pulling someone over, you don't know if he, you know, just murdered somebody or something, you know what I mean? So you always have to be on your toes. You know, I've been shot at and, uh, you know, just kind of walked into it, had no idea. You know, so that's kind of how stuff happens out there on the streets, too. So what's it like for the guys you work with, the gals you work with, when they look at you? I mean, are they – I think MMA is pretty big in, in that community, and, you know, oh. and, and self-defense is. So, I mean, it's kind of weird. You know, they, they've got to be pretty fired up for you. Oh, yeah, especially being a Chicago cop. You know, we're like the third largest city in the world, biggest police department. So, I mean, yeah, they're really excited. And, yeah, cops, you know, they, they like to drink beer and watch fights. Uh-huh. <laughs> So how, how yeah, I was going to say, scratch that. How, how, uh, how open was the department to letting you uh, professionally fight? Because I know, and, uh, you know, and the problem was that the guy did underground fighting. Sean Gannon was a cop, and he wound up fighting Kimbo Slice. But I think even when he got his one UFC fight against, uh, I think it was Brandon Lee Hinkle, there were still some, some, uh, some threats that if he went through with it, he was going to get fired. So I, I, obviously it differs from department to department. But did you have to clear any kind of hurdles? or No, so far they've been uh, very supportive of supportive supportive of me and you know i have great bosses um, i had a great captain you know i was in uh, worked in the inglewood district for like six years and uh you know he did whatever he had to do to, to help me and right now i'm in a different unit and i got a great sergeant who does whatever he can so i mean the, everybody's real supportive so you're making your ufc debut you're going against justin mccully who's fought a few times in ufc people should know though you actually uh, i guess i was in vegas which i should remember the fight right pride 33 was that in vegas yeah i fought in vegas so you actually fought Karasanov on that card, right? Right. I lost to him. Yeah. So looking back on that, what was that experience like? Because that's your only loss, right? Right. Oh, I mean, obviously I try to learn from everything. But, um, yeah, that was a great experience, especially fighting in Vegas. I mean, it wasn't like the UFC, but, I mean, there was a lot of people there. It was a big crowd. Yeah, a big crowd.
And, uh, you know, I fought in Japan before, and that was like in front of 20,000 people. So, yeah. you know, I think I'm used to the crowd. So, so tell people what it's like making your debut. You just said it, you know, Pride and Vegas wasn't like the UFC. What, what is the UFC kind of mean to you? What's the biggest thing? Is it the crowd? Is it the, the fact that you have all the people watching on TV? What is it, the level of competition? For me, it's just, you know, it's always been my dream. You know, ever since high school, I watched the UFC when it came out, and it's something that I've always wanted to do. And uh, obviously, I think the best fighters in the world fight here. And, uh, you know, I'm ready to get in there and test myself, see where I'm at. What style do you fight with? You know, I've, well, obviously, my wrestling background. I've got a strong wrestling background. But uh, I like to take people down and uh, search for submission or ground and pound. All right. I'm going to ask this one, and I ask it all the time, of MMA guys. And I don't know what it is with MMA guys. It's like the whole lifestyle thing. But because you're a cop, I have a feeling that you have interest outside of MMA. It almost seems to me like none of the MMA guys are sports fans. Now, if you're from Chicago, you got to be a sports fan, right? Like, are you a, are you a Cubs or a White Sox or a Bears or Bears. <laughs> are you? I'm going to okay. Bears games, but I'm not. I don't go to that many events, no. you know, unless we work them. You know, uh, sometimes we go to the White Sox and stuff like that. Yeah. But uh, you know, I like football, I like the Bears. What's your, uh, what's your favorite sport to work? <sighs> Probably the the Bears. Yeah. yeah. Any cool uh, guys on the Bears that you've had a chance to talk to, or no? No, no. no. <laughs> they keep away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and luckily, no fan is attacking them, so that you have to break them up, right? <laughs> right? All right, well, there you go. Mike Russo making his debut. Uh, last thing on McCulley. So what do you expect from McCulley? Because he's been a guy who's he's had some success here and there. Um, but style-wise, I don't know that he's – I guess he's, he's more of a stand-up guy than anything else, right? Right, I think just – I mean, he, from what, some of the videos that I've seen, he likes to try to take people down too. Um, yeah, stand-up's pretty decent. He's a well-rounded fighter. You know, he trains with uh, – Tito, I think, so he comes from a good camp. So, you know, I'm excited about getting there and getting it on with him.